When you want to quickly tie on a new set of colors, let me show you the easiest way. So first off, lift up your presser foot and kind of give that little chain or tail a little pull. It should pull fairly easily. But what I want you to see, and why we're zoomed in here, is that when you pull, you're going to notice that you don't just have four threads, you actually have five. Now since I actually have the um, all different colors, I am noticing I have one blue, one red, one orange, and three green. The green is my upper looper. Now you're not gonna know that if you have like all four whites on, but here's what I want you to do. See where the chain kind of ends right here and then the individual threads start? I want you to cut off the chain. That means that these threads are now individual. We're gonna pull on one of those greens that have, since there's three of them, one of them is for real and Two of them are fake. What it is is this little thread was is linked up in there. So when you pull on it, it actually pulls itself out. And now we have just the four. So I also want to just um, double check. I'm going to make sure my needle threads are going to be cleared out. Here's the thing. We are going to tie knots on, and the knots are not going to go through the needles, but they will go through the loopers. So I'm going to just pull my needle threads out of there. Uh, set up here. Here we go. Nice long pull. Okay, so now what we can do is I'm going to zoom out and show you how we tie on properly and then we're going to pull it through and we'll be ready to go. It's really easy. Before we cut off the threads off the back, don't clip them close to your serger. Clip them near your spool. That way you have a nice long tail to tie onto. Believe me, one little clip here and you'll realize why, <laughs> why that's uh, not a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna just put on a couple new colors here. Doesn't really matter the order, just because we're just gonna, just to do it. So you can see how fast it is. So if your serger is thread up, threaded for white, all four whites, and you need to kind of put on for darks, it's really not that hard. It just takes, just pull out your colors, clip your threads, tie them on. Okay, so what kind of knot am I tying? I'm tying an overhand knot. I'm putting both the threads side by side so their little ends come together right here. And I'm just taking in my hands and going over, just one overhand knot. That knot, kind of like a balloon knot, is all you need to hold that in place. Now when we go to pull it through with your presser foot up, it's really going to be fairly easy to pull through, but what I'm going to do is pull them through individually so I can see the knots traveling correctly. Okay, so we're going to open up the door here, pulling them from the back side, and as we go through, we can just pull one through, and we can pull our needles through. We're just pulling the threads through each of the loopers, and then with the needle threads, you just need to manually uh, thread those. I like using the needle threader because it makes it just so much easier. So remember, just keep those those um, handy tools. I always keep my tweezers close by, my screwdriver, because oftentimes I'm taking a needle in and out if I'm switching between stitches, and my handy dandy needle threader. So with the needle threader, you can just slide down, push it through, and pull the little loop out the back. So it's, it's, it's very easy to work with. Okay, so we've got the four individual threads. I threaded the needles last. That's always key to getting a good stitch. And then again, if I've kind of got some threads are over the top of the foot, some are kind of behind. If you want to slide some fabric all the way underneath that foot, just to kind of make sure that that first stitch gets nicely taken and away we go. I'm on a, th a four thread overlock, that's stitch number three, and then we're ready to go. So changing threads is a breeze once you do this a couple times.